Well, hello there, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to catch the golden catfish. This is going to be a event fish that's only available until March 29th. Um, so if you haven't caught it yet, I'm going to show you how to catch that. I'm going to show you where you can go to catch it. Um, there's a special area on the map that you got to go to in order to catch it. It's, it's an event fish. Uh, we're also going to look at the new boat and the new location today. There was a new location that was released and a new boat. So we're going to grab our new boat, go out and catch that golden catfish. Um, but first, let's go take a look at the new location. Actually, first, let's go take a look at the boat. Uh, I'll take you to the boat and show you where to get it. So we're going to go over here. Uh, to get the boat, just go to the store. Find boats down here. And it's going to be right here. The Comorant. Comorant fishing boat. So, yep, that's going to be the fishing boat right there. It's $30,000. Uh, once you've bought the boat to get it, you're going to go over here. You're going to go outside. Oh, I'm going to jump over on this boat. <laughs> going to go up here to the little kiosk and just go between the different boats here. There's the boat. Um, and one thing to note when you change your colors, you know how you could change your colors on the boat, changes the whole boat color. However, on this, when you change the color, it just changes the basket color, okay? So the boat itself stays that brown color. Let's leave it gold. I'm wearing my gold gloves today. I've got a whole gold outfit. You can't see it on here, but uh, you'll see it in my thumbnail. All right, actually here, here's a picture of me wearing my gold. All right, so let's go ahead and go do some fishing. So let's first go take a look at the new location. It's going to be on Japan. There's the golden catfish. It's under Japan free and it's S2. S2 is Lake Toya. And here's the new location. I, this is actually my first time to visit the new location. I haven't been here yet. So ooh, I'd like to live in that house right there. That'd be nice. <laughs> you have this for your, your backyard. This would be pretty cool. Pretty neat location. So, yep, this one's free. Just got to do an update and you'll get the free location. Alrighty, so let's go back to the map. Now, to go to the Golden Catfish event, uh, there's a couple ways to get there. First, if you want to do multiplayer, if you go into multiplayer, if you uncheck all of these and just leave event going, you can see there's a lot of people that are doing the event. Um, you can go join them in the multiplayer room and just go catch the Golden Catfish using the event. However, if you want to do single player, uh, you go to your map. And once you go to your map, as long as you're in the world map, the event is right there. So if you're on US West or any of those, um, like if we were in here, you'd want to go back to your world map and then your event is right there in the middle. So that's how you get to the Golden Catfish event. It's one location right here, Lake Biwa. Now, one thing to note that Lake Biwa is also on um, the regular map, but to do the golden catfish, you do have to go to Lake Biwa using this golden catfish event link. All right, so we're gonna go fishing there. All right, so here's Lake Biwa. Some of you have been to this location before. This is the catfish event. And when we pull up the Fishopedia here, you can see it's a bunch of catfish. Uh, and then you got a carp and a Japanese rice fish. So, yep, you do have the torrent catfish, which is an epic. You have the slender catfish, which is an epic. Your golden catfish, which is an epic. And you have these three just regular fish. Um, catfish, carp, and Japanese rice fish. Now, one thing note that the golden catfish and the catfish both like the same live bait, same lures, they're on the same depth. Everything is the same between the two. Um, so you do have to be on level 20. You do have to be level 20. And you do have to be on expert level in order to catch this golden catfish because it is an epic. Um, what I'm going to suggest doing is if you want to catch these and just target these and release the other ones, you can just quick retrieve. You know, I would say use your shiner. It's going to be a lot cheaper. I, I've been using my lure to catch these just because I'm trying to get rid of some of my, my uh, B and C lures. Um, yeah, see, I got... I got these B and C lures, so I've been using the metal jig and the spoon, just trying to get rid of them, because uh, I just want to have all my A lures up there. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get rid of some of these old lures that I don't use much anymore. 
Uh, so what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be using the lure. I'll show you with the lure and the live bait. You can use a shiner. You're just going to be targeting bubbles. That's it. Targeting bubbles with the long line if you're using a shiner. And then if you're using a lure, you're going to cast out past him. Or if you can land right on top of it, that's even better. But uh, just cast past it, reel up to the bubbles, and just let it drop down to the bottom using either the spoon or the metal jig. Either one of them is going to do great. Uh, as soon as it gets to the bottom, if your line turns red instantly, that's going to be the catfish. It's going to be either the catfish or the golden catfish. Now there is about a one in, I would say probably one in 10 chance that you're going to catch the cat, the golden catfish. 90% uh, of the time you're going to be catching the catfish. Though. So the golden catfish is a lot more rare. You'll get frustrated, just, you know, cast back out and catch it again. Like I said, if you want to reel it in all the way you can, you can keep catching all the fish. Um, what I've been doing is I let it jump for the first time. If it's not a golden catfish, I just quick quick release it. Um, and if you know if it is just a regular catfish, I quick release it, and then I cast to the next set of bubbles. Um, or you can quick release it right away, and it'll you'll see it jump out of the water as soon as you quick release it. But I usually uh, just let it bring it in. That way, I'm not wasting uh, my lure. So I just wait for that first jump. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I got my lure on here. I got some bubbles out there. I got some bubbles over there. So what I'm going to do is I got my spoon on here. I'm just going to cast out a little bit past it. Get right over to where those bubbles were at. Yeah, about there. I'm just going to let it drop. If it turns red once it gets to the bottom, then that's the catfish. Okay, so that's going to be the catfish. It's right on the bottom. Turn red. It's going to run on me. We'll reel it in. Said I'm going to wait for it to jump the first time. Keep reeling it in. If it jumps. <laughs> Should jump. Yeah, just a regular catfish. So I'm going to pull my thumbstick back and just let it go. All right. I'm going to cast over here. I seen some bubbles out here a little bit ago. There they are. I'm going to get about to where the bubbles are at. Let it drop down. Again, I want my line to turn red once it hits the bottom. There it is. And the only thing that's going to turn red on the bottom using the spoon or the metal jig is that golden catfish. Or is the catfish. That catfish or the golden catfish. Um, same with if you're using the shiner. The only thing that's going to bite on it with a long line and a shiner is the catfish, a golden catfish. So it turns right on that right away. Then you know that it's one of those two. Just a regular catfish. Going to let it go. And let's see. I've seen some up here. Some there. There's some over there to the right too. But I'm gonna go ahead and go for this one first. I want to stay away from those bubbles over there because I know that that wasn't it. And it didn't turn red once it hit the bottom, so that's probably the carp. Let's see. I had bubbles about there. I'm gonna let it drop down there. There we go. Right on the bottom. But it was just a small splash, so that's not it. And there was bubbles about here. And nothing. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do a reset. Switching from hard back to expert. Oh, and I switched to my... There we go. Switch to my spinner so that wasn't going to do me any good. Got lots of bubbles out here. And we'll just let it drop right there. See if it turns red. Yep, it did. Hit towards the bottom and it turned red. So that's probably it. Again, it's going to be either the 
regular catfish or the golden catfish when it turns red on the bottom like that, usually. I think if I had my lucky yellow gloves on, I'd be catching all the golden catfish. <laughs> Regular catfish again. Alrighty. Oh, I got a golden catfish right there. I can actually see it under the water. It's got a gold color to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but I can actually see under the water it's gold. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this guy in. So I've noticed that in some of the areas, when you hook them, uh, you can see the fish under the water and see if it's gold sometimes. So yeah, get our golden catfish. And there we go, there's the golden catfish. And there you have it, that's how you catch it. This is where you find it. If you haven't caught one yet, go out there and grab some uh, before the event's over. Like I said, you got until the 29th. Uh, and after the 29th, the golden catfish will be gone. Um, they they did this last summer, so they had the golden catfish last summer during a one or two week event. I don't remember how long it was. Um, and then uh, it was gone for a while, and they brought it back for another event. So here's your chance to go out and uh, add it to your your fish list there. So that'll be one of the fish you're, you're probably missing. And hopefully you can catch it before that event is over. So, hey, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.